I got a nice buck bedded down in the bottom here. He's pretty good looking. The sun's just starting to hit him though, so I'm assuming he's gonna get up and re-bed in a minute. And I don't know if I can get over there and get close enough in time, but I think it's worth a try. He's about a half a mile away. He's nice. Now he's just sitting there chewing his cud. He might, it's a little windy today, so he's tucked out of the wind. And I think I might be able to get in there, try to get close enough for a bow shot. I'm out here chasing fallow deer with my bow. My wrist is jacked up, so I'm shooting with a mouth tab, which allows me to draw the bow with my teeth and then release the arrow. This is kind of my initial hunt with it. Gonna see if I can sneak in. I'm looking pretty much for anything. Fallow doe, buck, whatever. There's some good bucks in the area, but I'm not gonna be too picky. Just try to get in close and see if I can self-film a I'll tab bow on. I kind of plan my stalk, see if I can range two points and then subtract the distance and see how far he is. Like if he's too far for a shot from where I think I have cover. Yeah, about 30 yards from where I run out of cover, so it should be a, a likely stalk. deer between me and him. Ah, he's picked his head up. He's not like fully out, but he's definitely comfortable bedded. So, I'm gonna use that to my advantage. Oh, oh yeah. All right, come on baby. I'm getting close, I hope he's still bedded. The wind is so good. They drop my back, he's pretty close.
We got too bold. I had to get close. 35 to 38 yards, somewhere in there. He just heard something and didn't like it. Now I gotta walk back up through the saddle to the truck.
started to go up over this rise and I spotted a really big buck below me. He's just super open and he's got a lot of does. Not a super easy stock with a bow. Uh, maybe near impossible stock with a bow, but I'm just gonna sit and watch him and see where they end up going. Maybe they'll put themselves in a bad position. There's just a lot of does around. I could make an approach, but I'm gonna spook a lot of deer. But the other thing is that's not probably my only option. Like I just don't see him getting into a better position than right now. So I'm gonna drop my pack here and uh, take off. Operation Bumpin' Stock.
buck just ran out and popped over the rise. <clears throat> I'm gonna give him a few minutes. Go back around, maybe just glass into where he went. Just be real careful, I don't wanna bump him. <sighs> so crazy, wow. Wow. Ah, now just the recovery. Ooh, look at that. The world's largest shed. <laughs> uh, little guy. So cool. What a great day. We got a little bit of blood coming down this gully here. Let's look like the way he ran. Holy smokes, look at this buck. What the heck? Incredible, whoa. I can't tell if that busted off or looks like he just grew weird there, maybe broke a little bit. Look at this thing. <sighs> Unbelievable, just, I can't believe it. Snuck in, got all the cameras set up, essentially had to do, well, I can't use my wrist to shoot, so I was, I've got this mouth tab set up and yeah, I had to get close.